Well, I think Walt Disney would, uh, would, would have done that. All humans are gone except for me. They literally said Walt Disney is pri cryogenically frozen. Yeah, they have said that Walt Disney's chronologically frozen. I will enslave the inklings and octolings to have them do my bidding. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Hey, you know. East, East Platoon 4's main antagonist confirmed. <laughs> Alright, one more left. Wait. Oh, I just have to do the boss. Oh, okay. Really, that was it? Let's do it. I don't remember this one being that bad. Wait a minute. We're doing the boss. You're fighting Big Man. Yeah. It's Big Man. Hold it right there. This treasure isn't yours. You can't have it. I wouldn't fight you if I didn't have to, but... Ah, uh, this is for Splatsville! What? What? Oh, no! It's the Mario Sunshine Mini Boss! No! <laughs> they brought it back! No! <laughs> Why? Why did you bring it back? <laughs> they knew what they were doing with this game. Those stupid dickheads! <gasps> it was worth it's the same fucking color! <laughs> Mia Moto! <laughs> Did Miyamoto have a part in making this game? Yeah. Well, he's the head. He, he's the head of the director. Oh, well, that explains it. That explains the bullshittery. Either that, or the Saploon guys really love fucking sunshine. Well, then again, there was a bunch of goop and ink-like stuff in Mario Sunshine as well. But I've got more moves. No more kids glove, it's big man time! Oh no! It's Morbin time, bitches! No, it's big man time. Big man time. You know, I saw somebody speed run this in like 43 seconds. No way. Yeah, I've seen it. You're actually having an easier time doing this than I did. Wow. Uh -oh. Why did you say it so soon? <laughs> oh, damn it. Why did you jinx it? I said it? Big man? Where's your shit? Where are you? Man. Is that dumb bitch? Oh my god! Ah. Yeah! Fuck you! Holy shit! It's over. Oof. Well, that was a flop. I really tried to. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> he set himself flying. Well, that's what all three of them did, dude.
Who even needs the fucking charger? This pile of shit. What the fuck? Looks like an engine of some sh sort. You can change the skin color, eye color, and hairdo of the captain. Yeah, we know you told us before, I think. Oh. Read me. Come in, do you copy. Gramps, we read you. Not uh, exactly loud and clear, but we read you. What's up? Are you okay? What's happening where you are? Finally, I got that damn blasted thing working again. Okay, super my report. Being held captive by someone or something call on themselves Mr. Grizz. I heard that loud and clear. As for where I am, beats me. But my left knee is aching something fierce, which means I'm at altitude. Somewhere high. Well, that's a pretty good hint. There's only one place that fits the bill, right? Well, well. Your injured knee may have betrayed this location. But don't expect any workers, cop. Thank you for this, by the way. I wouldn't underestimate the legendary leader of the Squid Splatoon again. I'll just go ahead and deal with you now, before you become an actual inconvenience. Wait a minute. Hey, what's this? What do you think you're doing? Yeah! Huh? That doesn't sound great for Gramps. Gramps, we're coming for you. Stay strong. Just as soon as we figure out how, how to get to where you are. You think some of the stuff we collected might come in handy? Aiden 3, why don't you take a closer look at it? Might be a ticket into the rocket. But before we do that, yeah. Are you fucking serious? All right, here we go. The land of fresh beginnings. The beings that had emerged from the water soon emerged from the cavern of the Alterna itself. From there, they flourished quickly. It wasn't long before they had explored every corner of the world. This epochal event gave great significance to the crater above Alterna and its surrounding territories, now referred to as the Splatlands. The region would, from that point on, be known as the Land of Fresh Beginnings. Among the creatures that now thrive on the surface, these newly evolved beings have scattered themselves across the globe, soon gave rise to distinct cultures and unique ways of life. Out of the, all the species now roaming the earth, squids and octopuses soon distinguished themselves via intelligence and fresh vibes, so to speak. It wasn't long before they became the apex species of the plant. Now, I must fast forward a bit. 5,000 years later, a peculiar individual was born. This squid quickly rose to fame in the Splatlands due to some unique characteristics. Yes, this individual was embraced as a prophet, gifted with numerous revelations that had shared among their fellow squids. It was another turning point for squid kind. During this period, the foundations for moder modern... Cephalopod. Cephalopod civilization were laid. That individual squid is now widely known and celebrated as the progenitor and modern day inkling. Now I believe that inkling is Mr. Grizz. I think it's cl pretty clear that we have to get into that rocket somehow. You ready for this? Oh hey, is that... Oh, hey, is all your hero gear uh, the way you want it? Sure, let's go. Captain saying, this is our final confirmation. Are you sh really super ultra mega sure you're ready for this? Where do I find more sardinium? I don't know. I haven't found all of them myself. All right, fuck. fuck it. Yeah, we're ready. <laughs> 